All right, listen, The Sand is a bad movie. There's really no other way to put it. The acting was bad, the directing was bad, the music was trash, <laughs> everything was bad, okay? Watching this movie is like watching a train wreck if the train lit itself on fire and jumped off a cliff. I'm not even joking. Like, for real, the CGI could be sourced from Fiverr and I wouldn't even be surprised. I mean, look at this. What the f is this? Okay, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me just start from the beginning. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna start by introducing all the main characters. So first of all, we've got Mitch, who's basically just that guy that's trying way too hard. Also that guy from Hannah Montana, if you haven't noticed. Next up, we have Shonda, who's easily the weakest link of the group. After that, we've got Kaylee, our Mary Sue, Jonah, Mary Sue's boyfriend, and Marsha, who does not matter. They kill her off so fast, it's actually ridiculous. For the last three characters, we have Ronnie, who's easily the dumbest of the group, Vance, who I think was the green Power Ranger, <laughs> and finally Gilbert, which, hold on, we're gonna talk about him a little bit later, but you'll see why. We start the movie off at this party, everyone's having a good Good time we got people drinking people dancing and then here comes mitch right so he pulls out this old-timey burglar looking sack and then tells everyone to put their phones in the bag Get away, mitch. i need my phone you saw the invite you saw the invite damn okay relax after that you know the party keeps on going vance and gilbert pull out like this obvious alien egg looking thing and like for some reason this scene just keeps going and going like this might actually be one of the longest intros in a movie that i've ever seen also the editing is like super weird it's like they keep almost starting the movie and then they bring it back to the party again like look at this all right that was cool i guess this is so long oh my God, finally, damn. They are not gonna do it again, stop. Man, what the fate do this four times? Lucky for you though, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all of that and go straight to the next morning. So to start off, everybody's waking up. You know, we got four people in the car. We got two people in the lifeguard post. We got one person on a picnic bench. And last, we have Gilbert, who is in his spot. You'll see. First person to wake up is Kaylee. And she basically just gets up and then looks around for a bit. You know, we got some sleeping bags laying around. And she notices that pretty much everybody from the party last night has already left but there's one thing i haven't mentioned yet there's a bit of a love triangle thing going on between mitch kaylee shonda and jonah it really doesn't add that much to the story it's honestly really annoying but you're gonna be a bit confused if i don't explain it for you so just so you know jonah cheated on kaylee with shonda and shonda no fuck and mitch fuck how does this work it's so dumb okay never mind people are cheating on each other that's all you need to know okay let's move on at this point everybody else is already up you know kaylee's staring at a bird marsha's throwing up and as kaylee's looking at the bird she sort of notices that it's like almost as if it's getting eaten by the sand right so now marsha's getting up she's about to go walk around and since kaylee's kind of figured out that something's up she runs over to go and stop her marsha don't touch the sand This part is actually kind of hilarious because she's just stuck there and nobody helps her for maybe like a minute straight. They're all just sitting around looking at her. It's so weird until finally Vance gets up, runs over, falls, gets stuck too, and look at how fast they switch up. Oh, it's just it's gonna be okay, Vance. Look at me, look at me, baby. Now why the fuck didn't you keep that same energy for Marsha? Like, look at this. She's literally dying in front of them and nobody cares. So basically they try to help Vance and they can't can't really get him out so after he dies they're all just trying to figure out what's going on like at this point they all know that the sand is bad but we don't really know why right so the group is over here trying to come up with some theories ronnie thinks that it's some kind of government conspiracy for some reason there was a spill or something like oil that's bullshit oil does not do that it was the government yeah so while ronnie's throwing out conspiracy theories kaylee starts to inspect the sand a bit she like kind of hovers her hand over it and she notices that these little uh, tentacles i guess like basically these things are under the ground and anything that touches them is gonna get eaten so it's literally like the floor is lava the movie <laughs> at this point it's finally time to talk about gilbert i have never seen a character get so disrespected for absolutely no reason <laughs> so remember how when everyone was first waking up we had our spots you know we had the picnic table we had the car the lifeguard thing all that tell me why this man is stuffed inside of a trash can and not even just that he's inside this thing for the entire movie this should be illegal i don't know what organization we need to call about this but we need to get them on the phone justice for gilbert
Okay, <laughs> so at this point, everyone's trying to figure out like what has changed, right? Because they were on this beach last night, obviously. And for some reason, now that it's morning, people are dying, right? So they're trying to figure out what exactly is different. And they're over here remembering all the stupidest, like most mundane things. Like, mm, I remember walking and talking on the beach. Bitch, you don't remember pulling in a fucking alien egg from the ocean? Like, I know you saw it. You were right there. I mean, whatever, man. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because they give up on thinking about it pretty much immediately they just go and start putting on sunscreen for like five minutes it's really weird honestly <laughs> but after that kaylee finally spots the egg and then everybody suddenly remembers right this is when they also realize that everyone at the party beforehand has already been eaten you see remember the sleeping bags that they showed earlier on right those are the people from the party okay and all of them are dead tell me not to bring my black ass to this motherfucking beach so you know they cry for a bit and then kaylee comes up with a plan to figure out like which area of the sand are safe so she gets these hot dogs and starts chucking them all over the beach and basically like whichever areas the hot dogs land on and don't sink are the safe areas and whichever areas the hot dogs do sink on is where you know you'll die so after they do this they figure out where they need to go and jonah comes up with his own plan and what he does is he basically gets these two surfboards that he had and uses them as sort of like a bridge to get over to where this picnic table's at which actually isn't a bad idea and the only thing that's stupid about this is that he makes it too steps out and then starts arguing with Kaylee about their relationship. Like what? Hey Kaylee, we need to talk. Make sure your mouth isn't too busy. Get over it. That's what you bitter about? It seems like you had a pretty good night yourself. Come on, dude. What? You wanna say something? Is this really the time for this? So anyways, this man makes it all the way over to the table, slips, falls onto it, and then is just stuck here doing these death planks, right? And as he's there, the tentacles come up out the ground. They sort of like tickle his stomach a bit. And at first it doesn't seem like they get him that bad, but the tentacles apparently have some kind of poison in them or like venom or something think of them kind of like jellyfish but more intense right so he's on the table he's hurt his stomach's like bubbling up it's actually really gross so i'm not gonna show the whole thing but just know that he's pretty hurt and for him to risk himself like that there must have been something pretty important over there right wait what he just got some sodas is this like an ad i mean okay let's just do the commercial at this point Yeah, this one goes to all the girls. Yeah, drink your soda, baby. Yeah. Drink your soda, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Drink your soda, baby. Yeah. Hey. Get that Mountain Dew, get that Mountain Dew. Ooh. Get your Aquafina. Yeah. Get you a Pepsi, baby. I am so sorry for that. Let's get back to this thing. So at this point, the monster must be getting tired of waiting around because instead of just eating people, it starts to eat the tires of the car. You know, it's eating the, the lifeguard post. It's eating the surfboards that they left out. And this is when they realize that just because they're not touching the ground doesn't mean that they're actually safe. Like, you know, the monster's gonna eat everything eventually. And then, you know, once they have nothing left to stand on, then that's pretty much it for them. And I'm guessing you're thinking exactly what I was thinking when I was watching this because like, why aren't they calling anyone, you know? Why isn't anyone using their phones? And I'm gonna break it down for you real quick because it's actually very simple. <clears throat> They're in the trunk. Their phones are just in the trunk, like just in the back of the car. <laughs> and why have they not thought of getting these phones yet? Well, again, I'll break it down for you because it's actually very simple. <clears throat> because they're fucking stupid. <laughs> so now they finally think like, oh my God, we have phones. We need to get them out the trunk. And only problem is that they just so happen to be in the worst car ever designed because you can't open the trunk from the front seat. You can't pull down the seats to get to the trunk from the back. So basically you just have to be outside. So now that we've got that established, Ronnie comes up with her own plan. She basically says that she'll just hang from the back of the car and I think Shonda will like grab a towel and hold her up with that i mean it's not the best plan but i mean it's something right <laughs> oh yeah that was an awful idea <laughs> but really though it's this guy's fault right here i don't know why he was just honking the horn as he drove up but this beach patrol guy is seriously the most unnecessary character in this whole movie like the moment he pulls up he's just annoying why's fat albert in the trash can what? who's holding are you guys lesbians what? is he on drugs Stop. Is he on molly <sighs> Who has Bro, I just want him to die. Like the only thing you really need to know about this scene is that if you have shoes on, apparently you'll be fine. Like all you need is 
shoes. So at this point, Mitch is like, bet, let me get some towels wrapped around my feet. I'm fast as shit. So I'm gonna get to the car, get you guys out of here. Cool, right? Perfect plan. Only problem is he asked Shonda to do something. <laughs> so you know she's about to fuck it up. Bruh, Shonda, why are you like this? I mean, like, look at them. They need to do better because Mitch is dead. Jonah's out of commission. Most of their friends are dead at this point. They have nowhere to go. They don't have their phones. They can't communicate with anybody. They can't call for help anymore. The only person that worked at this beach is gone. Their friends are gone. They have no hope. But you know what Kaylee says? She says, fuck that. Fuck this beach. Fuck this monster. Fuck you, Shonda. We are getting out of here. Now get yourselves together because we are making a bridge. Shonda, lay down some wood. Ronnie, get the fuck up. Gilbert, stop complaining. And Jonah, you wait there because we're coming. Now, Shonda, you go first because we're going to have you run to the car. So once you cross the bridge, wrap those towels around your feet. Ronnie, you're coming after me so that I can help you get across. Now, Shonda, get to that car so we can finally go home. Run like you've never ran before. Now go, 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 go. Yes. Yo, she made it. She made it. Shonda, what the fuck?